Ron Moser here with today's Thursday Thoughts. And today's verse that we're going to read is from Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. And this is God speaking to Joshua shortly after Moses has, has died. Joshua is now taking on the leadership of the children of Israel. And so God has some words that he wants to give to him. And this is part of what he says. And so this is Joshua 1, verse 8. He says, Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. God tells Joshua that he needs to make sure that the word never departs from his mouth. Now that may sound kind of strange, but usually when the Hebrew people would read God's word, they would speak it out loud. And I think that's something that may be an advantage for us to do. Because there's something about speaking God's word, or speaking words in general, that make them more real. When we just think them, it's one thing, but when we say them, it's another thing. Because not only do we feel them coming out of our mouth, but we hear them with our ears as well. And I think what he's trying to tell Joshua is to continually be in God's Word. To never stop letting it influence him. To always make it a part of his life. And then he says something else. He says to meditate on it. He says day and night. Now that's one thing I think that we also should learn from. We often read God's Word, and we just kind of do a cursory reading of it. We, we read through it, and then we close it up, and it's pretty much like we've got a check mark on our to-do list. You know, we read God's Word today. We read two chapters, and so we are done now. And I think what God would prefer, and this is from what he said here, he'd prefer for us to really to know it to understand it, to think about it. And so I think after we read God's word, we need to, to meditate on it, to stop and think about what does this mean to me? What do these words say to me? What does God want me to know from these words of scripture? How do I put that into my life? How is this going to change the things that I do? Are there things that I need to stop doing because of what I just read? And so we need to meditate on it. It says day and night. And so one of the things I've encouraged you to do before is to read a small section of God's Word and then think about it all day long. When you're standing in line at Walmart, when you're waiting at a red light, red light if you are waiting for something to cook, you know, anything like that, just stop and think about what God's Word has to say. That verse or short passage that you've been reading about, that you've been reading, how is that affecting me? What does God want me to know from that? How should my life be different? How should I be living according to what I read and heard today? And then he says this. He says, be careful to obey it. All right. He says, he says, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that's not always me. Sometimes I just go ahead and live my life, and, and I really don't think too much about, you know, what God's Word has to say about it. And that gets me into trouble sometimes. My attitudes, sometimes even my actions because I'm not applying God's word to my everyday living. And he says that we need to be careful to do everything written in it. Then he makes an interesting statement. He says, if we do so, that we will prosper and be successful. Now, a lot of people may sit there and think, boy, that sounds like health and wealth gospel to me. And I can understand where you could see that, but I think there's some things that we need to learn from this too. And that is that when we obey God's word, 
it does make our life better. When we follow Jesus, we have a better life. Jesus said he came to give us life, life to the full, the richest, best possible life that we could have. And so when we live according to his will, our life is better. You know, if we steal, um, possibly we could go to jail. It's possible that we could lose what we have. If we are sexually immoral, it's possible that our family may be destroyed. We might lose, again, much of what we have and our, our life will be in worse shape. If we're honest, people are going to trust us. Our employers may trust us and, and give us more responsibility, see us as worthy of a promotion. If we love our neighbors as ourself, if we love one another as Jesus has loved us, people are more likely to respect us and they're more likely to be kind and considerate to us. And so I do think that if we follow God's word, that our life will be better, that we can prosper and be successful. Now, if that's all we're worried about is being prosperous and successful, then I think we have another problem. But I think this is something that comes about as we live out God's word. I also think it means that there is even better life to come. And the scripture does talk about rewards in heaven. And so I think that as we live out our life for God, if we do the things he tells us to, if we live our life in a way that pleases and honors him, that on the other side, there will be things that, rewards that we will receive. But that comes naturally from us loving God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. And so I hope we'll take these words that God spoke to Joshua and realize these were ones that he spoke to him but that we can also gain some things from this as well. That we need to be in God's word, that we need to meditate on it, really think about what it has to say, that we need to apply it to our everyday living, and that when we do that, that our life will be better. Well, I hope um, this has been meaningful to you. I hope you maybe gained something from this today. And so um, until next Thursday, We'll see you. May God bless you and keep you.